Hey everyone. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to recover files that were deleted out of your recycle bin um, when you empty it, or if you delete your recycle bin, or whatever happened. Um, those files are recoverable. Um, it's not something you can do in Windows. It's something you're going to have to have special software for. And this is a software product that I've used um, on many occasions to recover files on different different PCs. And if you go to recovermyfilesnow.com, you'll be able to get a free download of that software. Um, there are other products on the market. Um, most of them are fairly expensive. Um, but this allows you to do a free download and scan to see if the files are recoverable. Um, they are Microsoft Partner and accredited by the Better Business Bureau. So go ahead and click on the free download and it'll ask you um, to go ahead and get that installed. So go ahead and do that and then I'll come back and show you how to use it. Okay, once you've installed the software, go ahead and double click on the icon on the desktop. Um, it's called Launch Data Recovery Software. And this is the window that you'll see and there's, there's some different options in here. Um, this software recovers data really from anywhere, but in this tutorial I'm going to show you specifically how to recover the uh, recycle bin. So because of that it has different options. There's a quick scan, um, a full scan, or a guided scan. Um, there's an advanced tab, an email tab to recover emails. Um, in this case we're not going to do a full scan. We're going to go ahead and target that recycle bin. So if you click on the left here on the advanced tab, okay, you'll see some different options here. And what we want to do is we want to uncheck everything here except for the recycle bin because that's what we're targeting in this case. Um, I leave all the whatever hard drives are hooked up. I go ahead and just leave those uh, leave those checked. Um, if you're looking for one specific file, you can put the name up here in the text area, and that will um, you can target just that one file. It does make for a somewhat quicker scan, but it doesn't take that long anyway. It's only a couple minutes at tops. So. Um, in this case, make sure you get the recycle bin checked and then click the button down here on the bottom right where it says start scan. Once you do that, okay, it's scanning for files now. And then there's a list. These found items here are showing up. And you can see what it's doing is it's categorizing those by images. Um, documents, text files, um, whatever you're looking for. So, and it is doing it by drive also. So in this case, if we're just looking at the regular C drive, um, we found 123 images. So if we're looking for a specific image, um, you can go in here. What I like to do is, if you click on the on these tabs up top, it'll sort it by that. So in this case, I want to sort by name so I can find my file do that you will see it's in alphabetical order now okay and we'll just do this green check image you can hover over the file name and it'll give you a preview so you can see that there's a, a green check there at the bottom of your screen that's what we're going to recover so we're going to click that um, the scan is still running I've got a bunch of hard drives hooked up to this so it may take like I said a couple minutes so I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel and that allows us to go ahead and do the recover. So once you once you find the file or files that you want to do, and again you could do all files too. It's not about a specific file. Um, so if you ended up closing this tab, you could actually select all images if you want to just do all images, or you can select everything, however you want to do it. But in this case, um, we're only looking for that one file. So we'll go down to the green check and then we'll hit the recover button. Now this file recovery location down here you can see I have it set to go on my desktop in a folder which you can see over here on the far right and I also show you that my recycle bin is empty over here but once you do that you hit recover it puts that file back in this recovered items folder which is over here on the desktop so you have access to that. So to recap um, go to recovermyfilesnow.com do the, do the free download install the software and then run a scan on that advanced tab uh, to find the files that you're looking for. Um, and once you find the files, um, you click the recover button. If, if you, again, the scan is free. You can see if your files are there. 
if they're there in order to recover there is a registration fee um, it changes uh, depending on um, you know just depending on whatever kind of um, sales they have or whatever but you know I think it runs around thirty dollars or so but uh, the software is invaluable I mean I've used it multiple times um, and again I know it doesn't have adware it doesn't have those type of things attached to it and because they're a Microsoft partner and Better Business Bureau and again great experience with the software so uh, I hope this helps and uh, good luck